What's up guys? Garrick here again. Today I am taking you guys on an adventure sheep hunting on the south side of Walalai Mountain of the Big Island. Me and my buddy Jim get out in the field and like most times when we get into this area we are looking to do a management hunt. On these management hunts we look for pulled or deformed horn rams that we need to get out of the herd because they have bad genetics. But the quality of meat is still just as good. Glad you guys can join me on this adventure and I hope you guys enjoy. Chee hoo! Alright! What's up guys? Up at the club. I'm gonna go see if we can get some polies today. Get some bad jeans out and see how it goes. No matter how many times I get up into this area, I absolutely love it. The drive up, the scenery, just being up here, you know you're in a special place. And getting to chase some sheep in this beautiful area is definitely a major plus. So guys, uh, so today we are going to try and do some deformed and poly control try and get some of the bad genes out that's the that's the main goal today for our hunt so we just got parked and let's see what we can do let's see what we see catch you guys later all right we got jimbo walking in Beautiful day out here, guys. Ooh, it's gonna be a little hot. But we're gonna see what we can do. See what we can get on. Maybe get a nice fat pulley. Get them on camera. Get Jimbo, the A shooter. I'm gonna pull one right in the pump. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, just like you did. Good news. Bad news. Finally switched over to the dark side. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna see first trip out on with the new bow and uh, see if we can. Uh, Draw some blood, you know. Holy. That's a good sign. Anyway, we're looking for some Police and D4R and then get out those badge and eggs. So hopefully we can get on some today. Alright, keep you guys posted. Alright guys, walking in, sheep are everywhere. I mean they are just grazing on grass everywhere, crying, chasing around the ewes. Uh, we've seen some really nice sheep, real nice up and coming rams. Um but the objective today is to look for the pulled rams. So we kept on looking for the pulled rams and if we didn't see one, we keep on moving. I mean, literally we couldn't walk two to 300 yards without bumping into another herd. And there really isn't any better feeling than walking in, in the beautiful outdoors, seeing this much sheep running around, it's such an awesome day.
So me and Jim making our way in, and Jim wants to take me to a spot that he found a while back. But it seems that we can't go more than 200 yards after each herd of sheep and not bump into another herd of sheep. With each herd that we bump into, we usually stop, get our binos out, and put a glass on the herd, trying to find those deformed and pulled rams. Finally, on this occasion, we make a stop, start glassing up the herd, and find our first poly ram to try and get up on. So glassing up this herd, we find a polled sheep, which we usually call polies. So if you hear that in our video, that's what we're talking about. Target acquired. Poly on the hill. Poly for sure. They all got still coming over feeding the this sheep. way. Target ram is still there at all. Hopefully you don't know what's going on. The swirling winds was not our friend today. Most of the herd got our wind and decided to get out of dodge. At this point, we still feel a little lucky because the poly ram and about five other rams still stayed feeding in a little ditch. The stock was on, but on our way in, the swirly wind got us again, and the rams decided to move uphill. We followed Chase for a little bit and decided that the rams were too far in front and weren't planning on stopping anytime soon. There was still a lot of daylight left and a lot of ground to cover. And with the amount of sheep that we were seeing that day, we weren't worried that that was the last poly that we would see. With the day not getting any longer, we decide we're gonna move on and start heading to Jim's little honey hole. On the way in, Jim is telling me stories about the last time he got into this area. And I somehow snuck some video in, hoping that he wouldn't catch me videoing him talking about the spot. Right up there. I could see sheep all in there. And then the fog and roll in. I knew the sheep was in there. We get into Jim's honey hole and as he said, we are completely surrounded by sheep. We're sitting here glassing and I can smell sheep. Seems like they're right over the hill. No, no this is the spot. This is the spot. <laughs>
I constantly stop glassing, looking around, because I can smell sheep so strongly, it seems that they're right next to us. What's up, guys? So, me and Jimbo made it up to a uh, place we're going to call Sheeptopia. It's a beautiful day out here. This place just reeks of sheep. Basically, everywhere we glass, we're sheep. So, we're still, we spotted a couple polies. Just couldn't really get a shot on them and get up close enough to really make sure that they were, and by the time we did, they were moving out. But we're gonna keep on this uh, non typical ram hunt today. Hopefully, we can put some meat down on the ground. Shortly after we find a nice ridge, me and Jim split up a little bit to do some glassing and I turn around, I see Jim with bow in hand putting a stock on a poly ram. down what did you just do there Jimbo it's not a good form <laughs> good <laughs> shot brah I know I turned around and I was, I was like whoa you. Jim has his bow I was then I looked, you and I was to call you. no I was I was looking at another ram that was right down below oh, yeah. here yeah it came across the flat uh -huh. and I was, it was coming down so I saw I was like I better grab my bow and I was watching I was looking at Jimbo just saw uh, shot a thief one more and right up over here. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna be a pretty short um crack job. Uh, that one's right here. We'll check it out and see what we can find. Okay. Was inside him. Oh, we're stuck inside? Yeah. Oh. I think that's what it is. Some blood right there. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is gonna be that hard of a track job. Treatment. Yes, a hole. Bugger is leaking blood. Huh? Yeah. Huh? What you got over there, Jimbo? You got it.
Look at how that show you. Show you all over the ground. Fun, huh? Yeah, guys. Get that bad genetics out of there. That was our goal today. One down. Jimbo. What's up, Jimbo? What's up? How's it going? Good now. <laughs> <laughs> what you got there? One of them deforms. All right. Look at this guy. Good get them to out of the herd. Right. Bad genetics. Yep. Look like an old dude. Sure does. <laughs> right on, buddy. Congrats. Well, with Jim on the board, it was my turn to try and see if I can get myself up on a non-typical ram and see if I can bless the new Matthews V3. I got it all dialed in and... I'm ready for my opportunity. Glassing around and we see a lot of nice potential up and coming rams. So glassing up the herd, I finally get my eyes on a nice poly and I try to get myself into position for a shot. The herd starts moving up, I get in position and I'm waiting for the poly to show himself.
Somehow along the way, the poly that I was after in this herd broke off and wasn't in the herd when they came up the hill. I was waiting and waiting. The sheep were right at my feet. My heart was beating, but there was no poly to be shot. Kind of confused, not knowing where the poly went. I'm looking around and I see a small bunch that split up from the herd and I figured the poly ram was with them. Quickly moved down and got into position again, trying to see if we can get eyes on that poly ram. To add to my confusion, when we stock up on this herd that split off from the original herd, figuring that that polled ram would be with them, he was nowhere to be found. I absolutely do not know where that poly ram went. And with the thick fog rolling in, in about 10 minutes, we couldn't even see 10 to 20 yards in front of us. Me and Jim decide we're going to walk up into the bowl where we were seeing some sheep prior to this, hoping the fog would clear and we can get eyes on another polled ram. Along the way, we bump into some other smaller herds of sheep and in some of that herds, we see some really nice up and coming rams. Little bit of camera malfunction and a thick fog. We weren't able to get the shot on this poly ram, but I had them and ranged them at 31 yards and let it fly. I don't gag. Such a ball. Good shot. Holy down. Yeah. Got it done. Big poly. Look at that. Yep. He has nuts. 
No more in your hands. Big head. Flat head. I don't know how far was our shot. Uh, I was trying to arrange it with the Garmin. With the fog, it was, I wasn't reading, I was reading 17 yards and I knew it wasn't 17 yards, so I hit it with my rangefinder and it was calling 31, so I pushed the button, got the manual pins up and sent it. <laughs> nice shot, good Me? job. Get some of these bad genes out. Yes, sir. All right. Hey guys, so I just wanted to slow down this video just a bit here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, a lot of times you'll see a lot of photos with animals that have grass in their mouth. And this is just a little ritual I like to do with the animals that I harvest, which is called the last bite. This ritual has been around for quite some time, but basically I like to do it um, to just show respect to the animal that's given me his life and providing me with all the meat that I am going to enjoy eating. How's it guys? Yeah, mission accomplished. We got two polies down. I got to bless the new V3 Matthews. Shoots like a dream. 31 yards, smoke them. All right, we got meat down. We'll take care of this and get them packed up and head out to the truck. Cheers, see you guys on the next one. Hello. Two polies down. Back nice and clear, clear up. Beautiful. We were on the sheep all day long and the end was no different walking out sheep were walking back up from feeding down in the forest and the day was still not over when you're up here you know you're in a special place and i hope for future generations that these kind of places will still exist where you can still chase wild hawaii rams Good day. Came really nice. We just uh, got on another bunch of sheep and uh, took a look, see if there's any polies in there. But, um, there was only some really nice potential rams, and uh, we give them give them the walks. So heading back to the truck and uh, catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you guys see, please hit that like button, maybe a subscribe. Comments are always welcome, and I will see you guys on the next one. Chee hoo! All right.